really they needed to add another starter. And when you look at the deal, it'll be interesting to see how it shakes out. They need another arm. They don't feel confident uh, with the guys they have entering camp, especially because they don't really have any depth. It would add much needed stability. I'm Matt Waymeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. The Orioles are reportedly close to a three-year deal with free agent pitcher Giovanni Gallardo. The 29-year-old won 13 games with a 3.42 ERA for the Rangers in 2015. Because Gallardo rejected the Rangers' qualifying offer, the O's would have to surrender their top draft pick in 2016 to acquire him, which is the 14th overall selection. The Giants have avoided arbitration with Brandon Belt, agreeing to a one-year deal with the first baseman. The 27-year-old hit for a pair of career highs in 2015 with 18 home runs and 65 RBIs. The Rangers have likewise avoided arbitration with their first baseman, as Mitch Borland agreed to a one-year deal. Borland is coming off a career year in 2015 with a 278 batting average, 23 home runs, and 85 RBIs. Astros designated hitter Evan Gaddis will miss four to six weeks after undergoing hernia surgery. Gaddis is optimistic he will be ready for the start of the regular season or shortly thereafter. Gaddis belted 27 home runs with 88 RBIs for the Strohs in 2015. And finally, MLB.com mourns the loss of one of our own, reporter Tom Singer, who passed away suddenly on Monday at the age of 67. Singer began covering baseball in 1974 and was among the first journalists who was hired at MLB.com, most recently covering the Pittsburgh Pirates. Singer was held in high regard by many in the Pirates organization and all throughout the game. He just was a guy who loved life, loved his family, loved baseball, loved writing. He was that way when I met him when we were at UCLA. We were in the same class. His generosity of spirit is something that's not in great supply, uh, unfortunately, right now, I'm afraid. He's one of those guys who's not replaceable for me. For more on these stories and for complete coverage of the World Baseball Classic qualifiers, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.